Hello, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to create a flare-up control blueprint. And this is how you are essentially going to manage your um, flare-ups and control them. So the analogy that I always like to give is like, all of your triggers are like a drop to the bucket. So stress is usually takes up a lot of the bucket and it might be some food sensitivities or intolerances it might be pet dander it might be weather um, and then when you get to the top all of those when the drops in the bucket get to the top they start overflowing and that's when you get a flare-up so the whole idea and I talk about this a lot is trying to identify your triggers but that's not the be-all and end-all so it's important to understand um, what your triggers are because you want to essentially get those drops in the bucket down and that's when you can manage those drops in the bucket that's when you're controlling your flare-ups and so at the beginning it's important to understand what your triggers are um, so we can try and avoid it and get those drops down and so again like I always say it's all about getting to the root cause so understanding what your triggers are and whether you're doing this from testing or doing a food and symptom diary that's that's not getting to the root cause. So you want to understand by doing a food and symptom diary and getting in tune with your body is understanding what your symptoms are trying to tell you, right? And then we take all of the, your symptoms because your symptoms are like the engine light in a car going off saying, hey, something's wrong, I need some love. Um, so we look under the hood and then we and then that's how we get to the root of the cause. We use these symptoms as investigative work and also if you want to do diagnostic testing as well to get to the root of the cause. And so instead of just avoiding triggers, your triggers to get those drops in the bucket down, <clears throat> how you create a long-term approach to this is you understand what your body's telling you and get to the root cause. And so, for example, if um, you have a lot of allergies and hay fever, then that's saying, okay, that might be a histamine picture. So then we look at um, supporting the enzymes to break down histamine. If it salicylates, um, then we look at supporting your liver, which we, you would do as well with histamines too. So depending on what your symptoms are telling you is what we're gonna do to start healing. If stress is one of your biggest triggers, then we look at uh, implementing stress management tools to help reduce the, the drops in the bucket and to essentially long-term manage the drops in the bucket so they don't overflow. And we do that through supporting the body systems that are indicated through your food and symptom diary, your blood work, that sort of thing. So that's what creates your blueprint long term and that's what we do that's kind of the end goal with my love your skin program is that we create this blueprint so we know exactly if you can feel your like kind of classic spots itching then you know exactly what to back off of and we know exactly what um, what systems we need to support using food as medicine or using supplements and also a lot of times people will get really um, carried away or really stressed out that they have a lot of food triggers and it's usually not one specific food it's usually a food group which makes it a lot easier so instead of thinking oh it's all citrus fruits it's tomatoes it's all the nightshade or hang on I'm just giving you food groups now <laughs> let's say um, it's capsicum it's oranges it's lemons it's um, um, eggplant In, instead what we can say well it's nightshades, it's high histamine foods. Um, so then we know food groups that we have to steer away from instead of thinking, oh, I have all these different foods, which makes it a lot more easier to comprehend. Um, and then instead of just thinking that I have to stay away from those specific foods, then what you do is say, okay, well, yeah, I can back off those foods um, when you can feel a flare-up coming up, and, but I also know how to support the detoxification, how to break them down, which is the big thing, which was one of the main things in terms of eczema. It's not just avoiding triggers, it's how to support your detoxification and he healing pathways. Um, so if you are struggling to pinpoint these triggers, um, at trying, struggling to try and figure out what your root cause is, um, send me a DM or join my Love Your Skin um, Facebook group, which the link is in my bio. And we're always chatting about this every week, uh, different Q&As, so, or just DM me. I will chat to you soon.